go and take a look at this example. So this is really important for us to understand our continuity. Because the last, the last um, function we did had what type of discontinuity? Rhymes with hump. Jump. Jump, right? So that's important because when we had a jump, we noticed that the limits from the left and the right were different. And the general limit didn't even exist. Correct? OK. Um, now, does anybody recognize what this type of continuity, discontinuity would be? A hole, right? It's a very much a hole. So what's happening is it's true for this function, x cubed plus 1, for all real numbers, but it's not true at negative 1. Now, again, you should know what this graph looks like without even having to power up your calculator. This is the cubic function, which is that s curve, and then being shifted up 1. OK? Um, so you guys should know, and then obviously um, you guys should know that it, it's, that's roughly what that graph is going to look like. We don't know it actually crosses up to negative 1. Um, or you could, but again, we see though at negative 1, which I'm assume right here, we don't know where exactly it is, but that's going to be at 0. But the, regardless, the important thing is, what is the value at negative 1? I don't, it, there's a hole at negative 1, so it doesn't equal that value, but what is that value? Because it's saying, it can't be true at negative 1 because it equals 4. So the graph looks something like this. That's what, the gra that's what this graph tells us, right? However, we want to figure out the limit. So what is this value? What does it even equal at negative 1? We know the function tells us it can't equal negative 1, but in reality, we can plug in negative 1 here, right? Is there anything wrong with us plugging in negative 1 to see what the value should be? So let's go, and if we plug in the negative 1, what would you get? Zero, right? So you guys can see here that the limit as we're approaching from the left is zero. As we're approaching from the right is zero. So therefore, the limit for the general limit is also zero. So when it's a whole, we know that those left and right hand and the general limit is still going to exist, right? Um, one thing I forgot to mention, though, but what if I said, what is h of zero? I'm sorry, what is h of negative 1? What if I asked you for the value of the function at negative 1? Yeah? Let's say 4. All right? So remember, just don't remember we're doing something different than what we've previously learned, right? And then what would be, what about my g of x over here? Or f of x? What if I said, what is f of 0? What would you guys say? 0. 0. 